There are a lot of ways to make money, and opening your own business is one of the ways where you can make a lot of money. But in today's world, it's hard to compete with so many other businesses, and many of them fail before getting off the ground. But what if you could take something that someone just throws out and turn it into cash? You'll be surprised by some of the ingenious ideas. So if you're curious on how you can turn trash into cash and get into recycling for money, then check out these five craziest waste recycle business ideas. Andrew Mapoya, Yeli Uganda. This is the story of a 16-year-old from Uganda who decides to start a paper bag production company, which doesn't sound like much. But Andrew Mapoya got the idea when the Ugandan government put a ban on plastic bags in 2008 because of the environmental damage they cause. Andrew was still in secondary school and at the time both of his parents had lost their jobs. Things weren't looking good and he didn't have any money to get started. So he figured out what he needed to get started on a small scale which was 36,000 Uganda shillings or US $14. He got the money he needed by collecting 155 pounds of plastic bottles, which he sold for $11 and then borrowed the other remaining $3 from a teacher. While gathering the money he needed, Andrew visited local shops and other businesses around that needed paper bags since the ban on plastic. Turns out that the demand was huge and to this day still remains a big business. The next step was learning how to make the paper bags. So Andrew went online and learned by watching videos. Today, Andrew's business is doing incredibly well, and his paper bag company employs over 20 people and produces more than 20,000 paper bags every week. And all the bags are made by hand since Andrew cannot yet afford a machine. But he's got a long list of clients from restaurants, retail stores, supermarkets, medical centers, and even Samsung buys paper bags from him locally. In fact, his company, Yelly, has made around 1,000 niche bags for local electronic stores. In 2012, Andrew won a $30,000 prize award that is given to young African entrepreneurs. We're sure he's got a paper bag making machine now. And just to think, he started with only $14 and a vision. Tato Katlanya and Ray Nguane Repurpose School Bags, South Africa these two young entrepreneurs who are also from South Africa did what no one else thought of at the time and are in their early 20s. They created repurposed school bags and refounded the Rathaka Foundation to help hundreds of school children in their local community. Their idea provides low-cost school bags for children that has an interesting twist. Their company collects plastic waste and then recycles it into school bags for disadvantaged students. But the cool thing about these bags is they have a solar panel built into the flap which charges during the day when the children walk back and forth from school. At night, the bag has a light that can be used to do their homework and study instead of using candles. The bag could also be used to charge devices in the future. The team has partnered with local companies that are willing to cover the cost of the bags on behalf of the students. The idea was simple but turned out to be highly effective and has got quite a bit of attention. Tato and Rhea have been featured on several shows and international TV media, and in 2014, they were the first runner-up at the Anzisha Prize, a Pan-African award celebrating entrepreneurs ages 15 to 22 who have come up with an innovative way to solve problems in their communities. The best thing is that the recycled product gives a child something they couldn't otherwise afford along with some dignity and being able to carry your homework from school, not to mention the cool solar panel and built-in LED light. And by the way, if you're feeling generous, you can donate to help children get a repurposed school bag. We'll put the link in the description. Bethlehem Tillahan Alamu, Soul Rebels, Ethiopia. Bethlehem grew up in a poor village called Zenaborg in the suburbs of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Now, she is the founder and owner of the company Soul Rebels which designs and creates some of the most popular and fastest growing African footwear in the world. Their footwear is unique because it's made 100% by hand using recycled materials like old cars, discarded clothes, and hand-loomed organic fabrics. The company has highly experienced local craftsmen that transform the recycled products into world-class footwear. The amazing thing is that the footwear now sells in more than 50 countries around the world including the USA, Canada, Japan, and Switzerland. The company is highly popular 
and just a few years ago became the first footwear company in the world to be certified by the World Fair Trade Organization. Bethlehem started Soul Rebels in 2004 with less than $10,000 that she raised from family and friends. Now the company has more than 100 employees and nearly 200 raw material suppliers. By building this global brand, Bethlehem has become hugely successful and created jobs and improved her local community. She also now has several standalone retail outlets in North America, Europe, and Asia. Bethlehem has won several entrepreneur awards, including Young Global Leader of the Year 2011 and winner of Africa Awards for Entrepreneurship in the very same year. Imagine growing up poor and then getting the idea of taking the trash and recycling it and turning it into something that is not only useful, but is world-class, stylish, cool, and very popular. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. Lorna Ruro, Eco Post Kenya. Lorna Ruro had a nice job working at a bank, but left her job in 2009 and started her own company called EcoPost, which is now one of Kenya's biggest plastic recycling businesses. Her company collects plastic waste from dump sites and garbage cans all across Nairobi. But here's the cool thing. Her company takes that recycled plastic and turns it into fencing posts, which are used to fence houses and forest reserves and are now becoming far more popular over timber. So far, her company has produced over 10,000 fence posts and created more than 500 jobs. Her company is making over $150,000 a year in revenue. But the other cool thing is that her plastic recycling idea saved 250 acres of forest, which would have been destroyed to produce wood for building those fence posts that she replaced with recycled plastic. She's doing so well that she recently had to upgrade her factory with better equipment and make it larger. Her business has gained a lot of attention and she has won several awards, including the Sub-Saharan Africa Cartier Laureate, the Bid Network Nature Challenge Award, the Seed Award, and the Enablist Business Award. Bilikis Adebiyi Abiola. Lagos is Nigeria's most populous city with over 16 million people who produced 10,000 metric tons of waste every single day. Much of that waste is not collected and leads to clogged waterways and unsightly heaps of trash, which line the streets. Billy Kiss is the CEO and co-founder of a company called Recyclers, which helps communities reclaim their neighborhoods from unmanaged waste. She developed the business idea as an MBA student and was a corporate software engineer at IBM for five long years. However, she decided to instead focus on the waste business. Her company, which was founded in 2012, uses low-cost cargo bicycles called WeCycles to provide convenient recycling to households in Lagos. And they have an SMS-based incentives program to get people involved. Basically, you give your plastic and other recyclables to a guy with a cargo bike and you get something in return. Nigeria's recycling plants are hungry for recycled waste materials because of local and foreign demand for end products and so the potential is huge. If you think about it, this idea could probably work for anyone in any city. Making slippers from used tires. If you think it would be tough to start your own business and start making something out of recycled products as these other people did, then you need to listen to the story of this man from Africa who takes tires and turns them into sandals. It can be said that Malcolm is the average person born in a poor family and without education. Malcolm's family was poor because the father was gambling and he had an alcohol problem. One day, Malcolm decided to start his own business and with a little money, he bought a lot of old tires. Of course, the people in the village were laughing at him because they had no idea why someone would buy old, used, wasted tires, especially when he didn't have a car. But the joke was on them. He worked day and night and created a pair of slippers that are actually kind of cool. And what an idea! Imagine how many miles you might get out of a pair. Now he sells his sandals for $2 to $5 for a pair, which is good money in Africa. The great thing is that they are environmentally friendly and it gives old used tires a new life instead of rotting away in the trash. There is a big scarcity of goods like this in Africa, which makes them even more special. Now Malcolm has had to expand his business and open a shoe factory and hire a group of workers. Now the people in the village are starting to think differently about him 
and we're sure a few girls in the village want to marry him. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which one of these ideas you thought was the coolest, or share your own idea. If you liked the video, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.